Hey, turn me up. Okay, just a little more. That's good. All right, so you guys are going along with me on this release party trip. Just pulling up to the spot where we're about to have the listening slash release party. Super excited. I am going through the back because I'm carrying precious cargo. I have lots of snacks and goodies in my car. So ooh, we're going to pull up into the side room. This is actually my church. This is Freeport Bible Church here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. And we're just riding around in the back getting ready to um, prep the room. We have an hour left into party time. So I'm gonna slide up to this door here and just gonna drop off the goodies that I have. So excited. I didn't plan to sing anything, but it was requested, and so I will humbly oblige. Um, my song is actually a faster song, so in this instance, I'm just going to slow it down and serenade you guys as you eat.
This has been, everybody has been a long journey. You might have seen a number of my videos that I have on Facebook and Instagram, but just to sum it up, it's been a long journey. Um, just because, you know, so much has gone on since I started. I've had a notebook full of songs for the longest. And during the pandemic, I actually decided to do something about it. And so I decided to take what I wrote in my nice little black book that have all the dreams and everything on the front of it that I get from H&L, big up to H&L, <laughs> but I decided to take those words that I had in that book and actually do something about it because at the end of the day, I wanted to have some type of legacy. I didn't want, you know, some sometime in the future to not be here and actually have my book here with no one reading it, no one understanding some of the things that I felt because a lot of the song got, comes back to how it felt and the things that I saw. When I initially wrote the song, because I don't think I said this on any of my posts, but when I initially wrote the song, it just came to me. It started with the beat, as it always does, and I put words to it. And that actually helped me a little bit with some of those words as well too, so pick up to my... <laughs> Take some time to just appreciate him for yes. putting up with me. Yes. Kanye! Yes. Yeah, he put up with me trying to force him to play the guitar. I don't play it. This one right here, this one right here. You know, play it, play it. I don't finish it, finish it. You know, he put up with me with a lot of that. And I'm thankful for him. <laughs> but as I, as the song evolved, because it started at one place, it started with me and Lotto, because I was singing, he was playing guitar, and James did an excellent job. Yeah. Because I promise you, I was going to be bad, but James did something special. I mean, I must say, James did something really special. And so, thank you as well to James and Keanu for robbing me all the time. Yeah. So Keanu does. Yes, you were out, Yano. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I love you guys for it. Thank you for my family that put on such a beautiful event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you all because I was, you know, not sure if I wanted to do it. I was a little afraid, but after I stepped out of my comfort zone, yes, yes, but. Uh, I'm just glad to share, as I was writing the song, as I was listening to the song and its final productions, 
I repeat the last song was as big to me as it was. Because I can get, I'm at the point now where I can say, you know, through life we always have these different struggles. And for me, there was a point in time where I decided I did not want to be here. And I gave that try, and it didn't work, you know. And for me, as I listened to the song later on, literally started to record this and put it together during the lockdowns and all of them, ups and downs, started to put it together then. But it wasn't until July 2022 that I realized that the song was much deeper than I thought. Because as I think back over all the struggles in my life that I had and the things that I thought were just terrible, like, or nothing at this point, I realized that I thought that I wasn't worth being here. And like I said, I decided to do something about it and it didn't take, you know. And as I sit back and I think about that, I realized that I tried something and I failed. And as God is my witness, that is my greatest failure ever. You know, and that's something that came to me at the very end of having this song. You know, and so this song means a whole lot to me in that some of these trials that we're going through, some of the things we try to fail, we supposed to fail. You know, because it's bigger than what we're thinking at that moment. We supposed to fail. It's okay to fail. You know, and that's that's my heart in it. Yes. It's okay to fail. Because sometimes God allows us to fail because He has so much better for us in our future that we don't even know about. You know, and so that's my encouragement, because that's what God placed on my heart after some time. Like I said, I didn't see that coming. But when it came, that hit me. And I was like, wow. So at this point, at this time, hearing that song over again, seeing your smiling faces, I thank God for that failure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, first lady. So, at this time, that's pretty much the end of my program. Um, I don't know if anybody, like I said, have any questions, so I can make this a Q&A. We can make this a you guys can share type thing. Yes, that's the should Yes. Good night, everyone. Hi. Um, I don't really have a question, but I just wanted to um, encourage you when you were, because you know, from the moment, from the first day I was met and I saw you when I first came to Free Bible Bible Church. Um, before I joined the praise team and I used to be in the congregation coming to church every Sunday, I always admired you and I always said, I want to know who this girl is because she has such a beautiful voice. She can minister so well, but you can see that she holds back. Mm -hmm. And so when I got to know her and she became my little sister, <laughs> you know, I would always encourage her um, in singing and, you know, praising and worshiping. And um, I'm so proud of you, brother. You just don't know how proud and how much proud I am of you tonight. And to hear that song, I almost dropped some tears, but I have to hold it back. But I am very proud of you. I, not really so much a question, and I know you already talked over all of your posts, which I watch all of them. But um, I just wanted to know when you were in the studio with James and Piano. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was something. Be nice, be nice. It was something. Tell the truth. Because Tell the truth. Everybody who knows Yana know Yanka, right? So she used to be in there cooking while I try to how can I focus with cooking? Like, you know what? But besides that, because I do like food too. So, um, it was a different experience. I expected it to be something and then it just wasn't that something. Not in a bad way, but it was a lot of pushing. Like, I realized that there's some things that, you know, I could do a lot better or a lot of tips that I got. And I really appreciated those tips because when I hear it now, I didn't understand it then. So I was like, I can't even sit down. Like, come on, it's not that serious, you know? <laughs> but, when I hear it now, and I hear how she has me phrasing certain things and doing certain things, I was like, okay, okay, I get it. You know, so you don't understand the struggle in the moment, because it was a struggle in the moment, but 
In the end, it came out and I understood. I said, okay, all the little extra stuff and a little hard work and stuff like that, but they tried to put me through, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, first of all, no, I'm just kidding. Seriously, Bryn, I, this is more, less, more of a statement and less of a question, but um, I'm glad you see it because the truth about it, y'all, Bryn was so scared. <laughs> she was so scared and she was, Bryn is so sweet. And so when you, when she got in the studio trying to get her to come out of herself was a fight within itself. I was a little bossy, just a little bit, but it worked out for the best. Um, found Brent's range is ridiculous. And even what she showed on this, Brent has, that, that's literally, y'all understand, that's just the tip of what she can do. Jane would say, do this run like this. And she go, I can't do it. And they was just do it. Do this, do this. And then she goes, oh, you're like, oh. She's like, oh, I did that. Yes, you did it. So I want to say, you know, good job, Brent. You pushed through it, I remember. The conversations and we are absolutely proud of you. Like, for us, you know, but this ain't it. You gotta do more. The world is waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's Kamal's album. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 yes sir. Yeah, just thinking about it. Kamal, uh, um, great song, man. Great, great song. Uh, Two questions. Do you see yourself uh, one day becoming a full-time artist? And two, is there a project to be expected? Well, somebody asked me the first question the other day. They were like, who do you intend to do it? Well, I said, no pressure, but if I could be a stay-at-home mom and just, you know, sing, I probably would. I, would, I didn't say that maybe like, five years ago or ten years ago, but I realized that sometimes your life just pivots yeah. and you pivot in a direction that you like. And so, even, I like it. Even with Katie? Even with Katie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, in terms background of... Vocalist. <laughs> Kaden is background. She's background vocalist. Okay. And in terms of projects, I do see myself working on some other things. Like I said, I have a pull. I don't believe that I hear these things for no reason. And so this is just me stepping out and trying not to be afraid um, to start doing something with the things that I've heard. Because I can tell you, I have, like I said, I have a black full. And I don't even talk about my voice notes. What was I working on? Facts. And I give him one little cheap keyboard, and I be ping pinging on that. Okay, y'all be proud of me, y'all keyboardists in here. What? I be doing them scales and stuff, you know, because I figure I probably need to pick up an instrument or something. But yeah, y'all thought me won't, you know, give y'all a little sample, but I don't remember right now. It's too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not a question. You're gonna make your first CD, the whole thing, whole album. Um, well, I kind of been waiting to do like an EP, so multiple. I didn't want to just do a CD with one thing on it. Um, so it didn't work. work. I started talking to some people and put some stuff together. I didn't have a song up until. That same weekend when Shani was doing the boss club and I literally sat in church and I was like, I went outside and I had to record the song. And so I recorded the whole song on my phone. I just literally have to take it out of my phone now and start putting it to work. Thank you. I'm going to have a comment right there. Um, as, I, as I remember many years ago when you were prenatal. <laughs> I, I, I used to like to write songs, and so I, I wrote songs. I even remember sending one, sending uh, one in the space for singing the record, you know. <laughs> but the struggle is always to sing it. I can't sing. I love singing. And I still do love singing. Right. I have albums upon albums upon albums. All right. You know, but I can't sing. And I'm, I'm here to, to I guess I could, 
I can tell somebody, you got, you got something along the way. Hey, you got something along the way. And so I just want to say that as a father, I'm, I'm proud of you, I'm proud of your accomplishment. And while I wrote it, I now mean, recorded it through you. So I, am, I, I, I really appreciate that. And I, I, I can't see where you're going, but I know you're going somewhere. You know, and I just want to, want to say that. As you go somewhere, I prayed, I prayed this morning as I got up around five o'clock. I said, Lord, use up for you. Yes. You know, and while we always what we all asking where are they going to get Brandero? I see Brandero, listen to the boys. Listen to the boys. You said when the voice give you the words, you can't help but write them down. The voice is gonna give you a word and tell you go. Alright, and so I'm gonna stand here as your father, you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say that, that I'm standing with you. I'm praying for you, and I'm looking for you to do what God wants you to do. That's, that, that's, that's all that's all good God wants you to do. Um, you know, don't look, don't look for fame and fortune. Look for acceptance. Okay, look to bring God glory, and when you do that, the Lord falls in place. Because I realize that um, you, you 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 can live on plenty, and you can live on little. You know. But so I'm proud of you and I thank, I thank you for giving me this opportunity to stand and see you bring my song. When I started singing, I, I tried, but I failed. <laughs> And I got to embrace and I am <laughs> All right, um, I have a statement and then the question. First of all, the statement is more to Lovato wow. than anything. Wow. Because you guys are a unit and you know the the support that you're giving her in this time you would never know the 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 weight of that. Yeah. And so I know she thanked you, but I just wanted to let you know that that's a big thing. And so we thank God for you as well. Right. Yeah. Love the song. I just wanted to know, I know you said that Lovato, you was grabbing Lovato during the process. beginning process, but I was wondering if he was, like, he, did he play on the song? Is that him in the bass? No. Unfortunately, no. I, picked, I picked the guitar player though. It's, it's Jabari Johnson, oh, okay. who, who sing half your way. Yeah, he's the guitar player on that. So yeah, I picked them. James, James was like, it's yeah, yeah. It's like Jabari, dude, Jabari. <laughs> you know, that was it. But no, I can't do half of that stuff for Jabari. Oh. Did that. That's crazy. But I will say, even though um, he didn't play, he did play a pivotal role because even though I annoy him every time because every session I send endorsements. Why don't listen to this? Listen to that. This is what we do. This is what we do. And he there, listening to it and, okay, maybe this, maybe that, you know, giving me tips. He can't sing now. He can't sing. But giving me the most tips. But, you know, I appreciate those little tips. Was I wrong? No. <laughs> <laughs> but along the way, he was a really good listening ear. And he was a, he's a good technical ear as well, too, musically. Because he's still musically inclined, even though he can't sing, you know. But. <laughs> But I, 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 appreciate, I appreciate him and all that he did before, during, and after. So, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Um, I love the song. Beautiful, beautiful song. I just wanted to know that you plan to do a video. Because I could see that like a video stuff that that's like the If you plan. Yes, I do plan to do a video. Um, we're supposed to be starting to shoot the video in September. So we'll see how that goes because God does some things. Um, God places people in the, in the right spot. And so pretty much whenever we're ready, we can go. You know, we have the talent that's willing to work with us. We have the person that's able to bring the creative directive towards it. And we have some ideas and things that we are starting to play. I got some musicians in my corner as well too. So. You provide the fire, 
I provide a sacrifice. I felt like that's just what it was. Like from top to bottom, that's just what it was. And so this plan is in motion. And so I don't know exactly when it'll be ready, but we start to put our thoughts together as a pepper. So yeah. Yeah, so look out for that. He knows the, the plan about the He knows the plans that he has for you right here. And I just want you to keep pressing forward. The sky is the limit and continue to make us proud. I know this must have been a task. You know, it took long hours, it took a lot of time, and it took support from your family members. But in all, God was faithful and he was good to you. So continue to keep up the good work and make us proud. Love you. She had been all these songs in her head. The only challenge was that now I never had the opportunity to sit down and really listen to the only stuff that she had. But I, I, I was very pleased when I heard her song because number one, it's very good content. It's got very good quality. The, the mix was like excellent. But again, this is awesome. So I want to say to the man, congratulations. Um, you know I got your back. Anything that I can do to help, I hear for you. And so the sky's the limit, my friend. Just keep pushing. And you know, and then you get a fresh check, you know what I 